Having ambition and wanting a better life for yourself and for your family is noble. Some people work hard and deserve their success. Wanting to earn money for affording a better life for yourself and your loved ones is not greedy. It's natural and a necessity for being free. Wanting to strive for a better job shows ambition, but like most things in life, there is also a downside. If you have a top job and are a boss of a large company, then your responsibilities increase and so does your stress levels. Being responsible for people's livelihoods and well-being can take a toll on mental health. Having a top job means you have to have balance and be in a good state of mental health, otherwise it's easy to make mistakes. It's true that you can't please everyone, but when you're in a position of power and responsibility, then it's important to be selfless and put others' well-being first before your own. It's also important to remain humble and not brag or boast about what you've achieved and what you've gained. As it says in the Desiderata, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. If we consider those in top jobs, such as in governments or leaders of countries and states around the world, then we can see the stress that this is causing to the mental health of some of them. Many do not put the well-being of the people first and foremost, and are acting on their own interests, mostly through greed. If someone is doing a good job, is thinking and acting fairly, selflessly and with integrity, then it could be said they're doing their best and doing a good job. Are they doing what they've said and are they acting upon their words? If the answer is yes, then they deserve the top job. The stress of a top job can bring illness both mentally and physically. Nobody likes to see anyone not doing well either in their job or struggling with their mental health and illnesses. We wish them well and we wish them peace in order to overcome and recover. Many strive for the top job and then when they get it, they realise that it's not all it's cracked up to be since the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Some realise the stress and responsibility is too great for them. They realise it's not for them and move on to other things, whilst others press on believing themselves to be invincible when it's evident to others that they're not. Those in a top job need to think about what they can achieve for others. How can they benefit others? Will they bring improvements to people's lives and livelihoods? Will they bring peace and harmony and uplift populations and situations? Will they discuss with an open mind, see both sides of an argument and come to agreements for everyone or at least for the majority? Or will they do the reverse and the opposite? Will they use people and organisations for their own means, bringing destruction and conflicts? If the answer is the latter, then please don't apply for top jobs. It isn't for you.